Hey there, today we're going to get into the second stage of LLC preparation and credit enhancement. Verification. Once again, I want to emphasize, do not skip over the steps of stage one. If you do, then you will invalidate all of the benefit that you could have had. All right, we're going to talk about closing some accounts. You never want to close your oldest account. One of the big factors in your credit score is account age. If you have a credit card that you've had for 15 years, that is not the credit card that you want to close. You close that, you automatically reduce your overall age of your credit and you lower your score. So don't close it. Even if it has marks on it, you want to keep that open because after time, those marks come off and you can still move forward with the account. Now, here's step one. Call up all your credit cards and ask for a no hard pull credit limit increase. If they must do a hard pull, pass. Now, what is a hard pull versus a soft pull? A soft pull is they already have your information. They're already reporting to the credit bureau that they have an account with you so they can kind of look at your credit report without doing a hard pull. A hard pull is when you get an inquiry on your credit report. We don't want those right now. So if they say we have to do a credit pull, pass. And once you get your limits up, this is going to increase your available credit balance. You want this as high as possible because then it makes you know keeping your utilization low easier. Step two, close all low limit credit cards. If you have a credit profile and every time you apply for something, you get 1,500, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, you never really get any of those real big boy limits. Part of the reason is your credit card issuer is going to look at what someone else gave you before they give you credit. So if all that's on your credit card is report is $2,000, $3,000, $4,000, that's all you're going to get for the most part, unless it's Christmas and they may ball out and give you double what they normally give you. So you want to close all those bad boys if they will not raise the limit. You want everything to be 10,000 and above. Ideally, 25K with four to five cards with that kind of limit. That puts you in the six figure credit card club. Average person making 50 to 75,000 a year can get up in time to $250,000 in credit available balance across many cards. That's your 45 visas and MasterCards. That's your Best Buy, JC Penney's, Macy's, you can get up there. Now, one of the things that I do, I do not have store cards. I do not have a Best Buy card. I do not have none of that stuff. Everything I have is either Visa or MasterCard, and maybe I'll get an American Express again. Just don't have a use for it right now. <clears throat> But when I do, I will grab that bad boy. Now, if you're married, have your spouse put you on all of the credit cards with pristine payment history. There can be no lates. You, you want old credit cards, authorized user. You should be careful with Chase. Now, Chase is really a strict, it's pretty strict on certain things. So if you and your wife are married, but you don't have the same last name, that could be problematic. Uh, typically, if everyone has the same last name and all the cards go to the same address, no problem. But if you put on three or four different people and they all have different last names, Chase may shut down all of your credit cards because you look kind of risky. So be careful with that. Everyone else, they're not so concerned about that right now. Now, these tactics should add 50 to 100 points to your score in as little as 30 to 60 days. So while we're waiting on those credit reports, getting ready to challenge stuff, getting ready to shape stuff up. Like if you have really good credit, this can actually, you know, let's say you're 730. Doing this could probably get you into the 800 range. The higher your score, the harder it is to go up. The lower your score, the easier it is to get these big 100, 150 point jumps. Now, what you want to do is work on paying down your balances so only 5 to 10% of your credit line is utilized. That's your overall credit line. 
you do not want to max out any one card. Uh, let's say your overall balance credit available balance is 80,000. You could use 8,000 of that balance and your score might even go up. You can possibly get to 20%. It's not really going to hurt your score a lot. But the minute you hit the 30, 40, 50, 60%, your, your score is going to tank. So just be aware of that. Now let's get to the important stuff to make this thing happen. If you're not done it, set up a budget and use Mint.com. Mint.com is an online budgeting tool where you can sign up for an account and literally sign into all of your credit cards, all of your banking, even your investment stuff and set up alerts. So let's say your checking is you put an alert when you get down to your last 500 bucks. So it's like you get in a text or an email and it's like, whoa, I can't spend any more money and it keeps you straight. Now, this is another thing you need to do. Go to your commercial bank, not a credit union, but a commercial bank, Wells Fargo, SunTrust, something like that. And open up five bank accounts. Now, since this isn't a business, these will all be personal bank accounts. Since this will be so unusual, explain to the person open up your accounts what you're doing. And it's like, well, I'm going to operate my personal expenditures like a business operates. So I'm going to have an operating account. I'm going to have an expense account, long term savings, short term savings and an investment account. Just tell them that they'll look at you like, wow. This is good. And if you have to pay a fee, don't trip, pay the fee and then find out what you have to have in there where you pay no fees and we will work on getting you that money. Now, here are the ratios. Since we don't know what everybody's disposable income is, we're going to just have this general template and you can move it around per your money. Your operating account, 90 percent of your money is going to go in there. Well, it's an operating account. That's what you're going to pay your mortgage. That's what you're going to pay your car note. That's what you're going to pay your credit cards. You can pay all that stuff out your operating account. Now, here's one of my rules, and this will serve you well. Get yourself a new debit card and only use that debit card to pull cash out the bank. Do not use your debit card to shop, only to pull cash out. That's it. This will protect you from fraud and other nasty stuff. Your expense account, that's like car repairs or something happens. You're just steadily putting money away every month in case something happened, an additional expense. Long-term savings. So you want to buy a house, you need to put down down payment on the house. This is that type of stuff. Short-term savings. Maybe you want to go on a trip. The trip is 1200 bucks. If you save up to 1200 bucks, you can buy the trip on your credit card, pay it off instantly and get those points, baby. And then the last account is investment. This is for future business building. So you'll start putting money in there. So when you get ready, you don't have to like pull money out of your operating account. Because see, this is how this works. If you go ahead and lather your money. So every time you get paid, you put these disbursements in these accounts. One day, even at 5%, that expense account is going to have two, three, four, five, ten grand. Because the thing is, since you're now operating like a business and you're paying more attention to your money, it's easier to get money. OK, this is the end of stage two. Be sure to make this stuff happen. The way that I'm doing this is to give you what you need to get started and to get rolling, because these things will take time. You'll have to take time off from work. You'll have to go to the bank and everybody's busy. But definitely these are the things that you need to do. All right, this is Glendon. I'll see you in the Facebook group and I'll see you in stage three.